Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 11. What is the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon? Why? So now what is the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon? Now even before we think of the measure of that minimum interior angle, first, first let us decide what are the minimum number of sides that we need to form a polygon. So a polygon is a simple closed curve. So how many sides do we need to form a closed curve? One se line segment is not enough. Two again is not enough because we do not form a closed curve. So minimum we need three line segments. Now when we have a polygon with three sides, what is that? That is a triangle. So basically the minimum number of sides that we need is three. Therefore the minimum number of angles that we need is also three. So we need at least three angles, three interior angles to form a regular polygon. Now if I ask you what is the minimum value of that angle? So what would be that the minimum value of these angles in order to form a regular polygon? Now when I say regular polygon, all the sides will be equal, all the angles would be equal. So if that is the case, the sum of the three angles is equal to 180 degrees. And let us assume that the minimum value of each angle is x. So this would be 3x because x plus x plus x, this would be equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, x would be equal to 180 divided by 3, which would be 60 degrees. So, 60 degree is the minimum interior angle that is possible for a regular polygon. Because here the term regular is very important. Because of that only, we have been able to apply this logic of 3x equal to 180 degrees. Now, what is the maximum exterior angle possible for a regular polygon? Now, once we know the minimum interior angle, that means the interior angle minimum has to be 60 degrees. Now, when the in interior angle is at its minimum, that means the exterior angle will be at its maximum. What is the exterior angle? This angle is exterior angle. So, when this angle is minimum, this angle will be maximum. That's very obvious, right? Because as the value of the interior angle increases, what happens? the value of the exterior angle will start decreasing because this is how it will increase. So the interior angle's value will increase at the cost of the exterior angle. Therefore, the point where the interior angle is minimum, at the same point, the exterior angle will be maximum. Therefore, the maximum exterior angle in this case would be equal to 180 degree minus the minimum interior angle and the minimum interior angle is 60 degrees. So the value would be 120 degrees. Now the logic is very simple. This is how your interior angle is and this is how your exterior angle is. Now when the interior angle is minimum, the exterior angle will be maximum because now the interior angle cannot reduce any further because the, this is the minimum value that we have calculated in part A. So the interior angle cannot reduce any further, but the interior angle can increase. It can become more than its minimum value. Now what happens when the interior angle increases? So it can be something like this. So the interior angle has increased. So what happened to the exterior angle? The exterior angle has reduced from what it was before. So basically as the interior angles keep increasing, the exterior angle will keep reducing. So when we say that the interior angle is minimum, at the same time the exterior angle would be maximum. So that's the logic here. So I hope you understand this. Let's look at question number 12. We have to find x in this diagram. So here if you see the angles which are given, they are all exterior angles. And what do we know? We know that sum of exterior angles of any polygon is always equal to 360 degrees. So here what are the exterior angles that are given? 125 plus 125 plus x is equal to 360 degrees. Or we can say 250 plus x is equal to 360 degrees. Or we can say x is equal to 360 degrees minus 250 degrees which is equal to 110 degrees. So the value of x is 110 degrees. Question number 13. 
So here also we will have to find the value of x. So here also if you make a note, this is an exterior angle, this is also an exterior angle, this is an exterior angle, this is an exterior angle. So the only exterior angle that we don't know is this exterior angle. Now if this is 90, this is linear, this is a straight line. So total is 180 and this is 90. So how much would be this? This would also be 90, that is 180 minus 90 is 90. So now we know all the exterior angles. So again we will apply the same logic that sum of exterior angles of a polygon is always equal to 360 degree. So here what are the external angles that we know? 70 degree plus x plus 90 degree plus 60 degree plus 90 degree. So this would be equal to 360 degree. So from this we get 310 degrees plus x is equal to 360 degree or we can say x is equal to 360 degree minus 310 degree which is equal to 50 degree. Therefore the value of x is 15 de 50 degrees. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.